Hello everybody. Mid-90s zoom plastic point and shoots are usually my least favorite kind of camera. Uh, this was given to me by my partner's dad. Had a working battery, so I was like, hey, I'll shoot with it. This is the Samsung Maxima Zoom 125. Uh, it was called the Slim Zoom 125S in the rest of the world. Uh, came out in 1996. Uh, the body, it's essentially a Roly Prego 90 with a slightly longer Samsung branded lens. The very high end of this had a uh, Schneider Kreuznach lens and surprisingly the 125 millimeter version of the Roly um, has different styling. A division of Samsung, Samsung Techwin, uh, bought Roly from a guy named uh, Heinrich Mandemann, who was the owner of Schneider Kreuznach. Uh, they bought it in 1995. Kind of explains the relationship between Samsung and Schneider, which is not a leap I would have ordinarily made. Uh, it ended up being sold back to some uh, internal management in 1999. So Samsung didn't have uh, Roly for very long, but the cross-pollination between their cameras really shows. There's very little information on this camera available on the web. Camerapedia and Camera Wiki don't even list it you know, when you search by manufacturer. It's a pretty sophisticated camera for this era. This point-and-shoot roundup article in a May 1996 popular photo uh, shows list price of $699. Let's take a quick tour of it. It has a Samsung branded 38 to 125 millimeter lens. Close focuses to 0.45 meters, yeah, about a foot and a half. Uh, it's f4 at widest at 38 millimeters, f9.9 at 125. I have no idea how far it stops down. Uh, it has a leaf shutter, surprisingly, for a camera like this. Uh, the shutter goes from a third of a second to one four hundredth of a second, plus bulb. Uh, there's the uh, remote control sensor, the light for the self timer. Uh, that does seven or two seconds, and it does double, where it waits two seconds, takes a picture, waits another two seconds, and takes another picture. The idea being that people were more relaxed if they weren't expecting it. Um, this is the photo cell, the passive uh, infrared focusing sensors, viewfinder window, flash obviously. Doing some calculations on what I can find about this, it's probably guide number 24 meters at ISO uh, 100. The flash does uh, auto, on, off, fill, red eye reduction where it does the pre-flash, and then it has a slow shutter sync where it leaves the shutter open to expose the dark background and then flashes on your uh, forward subject. This button does infinity focus, so if you're shooting through something that might confuse the, uh, the range finding sensors, through glass or maybe there's an opening in some leaves but you want to focus on what's out on the lake or something like that, uh, so you can force it to infinity. On the bottom, it's pretty standard, tripod socket, and then the battery compartment. You need a pin to open that. It takes two CR123A batteries. It's a little bit of a pain, but they do seem to last. Sides are pretty plain. Latch for the strap. The back latch. Get it open. Uh, you can see, surprisingly, it really is a leaf shutter. There's no... Uh, there's no film plane shutter there. It does uh, DX sensing. Um, if it's like the Roly or other models of this, it goes from ISO 50 to 3200. Uh, it automatically loads, advances, rewinds. Uh, again, if you have a pen, you can do a mid-roll rewind. Moving to the back, a nice feature. It has a diopter for the viewfinder. This one has a date back. Viewfinder with the uh, over and under exposure lights. There's also uh, like the Ricoh camera that I reviewed. Uh, it has a panorama mode 
where it brings down a shutter in the viewfinder and then also in the film plane. This snap mode uh, sets it to its widest, 38 millimeters, and then uh, focuses, and I have no idea what f-stop it's using, for about 1.1 meters to 13 meters. So, you know, if you're catching kids in the yard or something where you don't want it hunting the zoom as they're moving around, just set it like that and you'll probably get an okay shot. This next button uh, does red eye or uh, backlight correction for the flash and then of course the power button. The top is pretty complex. Um, well, the controls aren't that complex, but the modes are pretty complex. You got the the mid-roll rewind and then the self-timer button. Um, you set the flash modes and the shooting modes. The shooting modes are pretty uh, amazing. Um, it just cycles through. It wakes up in auto and then it has what they call fuzzy. Fuzzy logic was one of those cool buzzwords in the 90s where it will actually control the shutter, the flash, and the zoom uh, to try and get the best shot it can think of. And then uh, there's portrait where it will try and zoom to keep like a head and shoulder shot of your subject. Um, step zoom, which is kind of interesting, it will uh, take three shots from whatever zoom you're at, and then there's a table in the manual, well, the Prego manual, I'm assuming it's similar, and it'll zoom and take another shot, zoom and take another shot. Uh, continuous, multiple exposures. Um, I don't know how many this can take. I know it takes a, can take at least four. They recommend uh, not more than two. It does have exposure compensation, two steps and third stop steps. Uh, it has an interval setting, which is nice, it has an intervalerometer, and uh, the delays on that can go up to an hour between shots. And if you don't turn it off, it'll just keep doing interval shots until it's out of film. And then bulb mode, which is okay, it's not a true bulb mode, it goes up to 60 seconds though. So it's a nice feature for something like this if you wanted to. Um, you know, get some really, really low light shots, defeat the flash, and then shoot with bulb. Um, you know, just trying to find a manual for this thing, I kind of got sucked into its story, and I learned a lot about it. The more I learned about it, the more I like it. I do like the results that I got, you'll see here. So I'm going to shoot another roll. I also just scored this one's big brother, the... Uh, 145, which does have the Schneider lens. So if it works, I'll shoot with that, do a comparison, and I'll see you then.